In this video, we're going to walk through configuring a Digi Remote Manager account for SAML single sign-on authentication. Here's what you'll need. An account on Digi Remote Manager, an administrator user in the account, and an account with a SAML identity provider. For this walkthrough, we will be using Okta as our identity provider, but the information provided should be applicable to most modern SAML identity providers. To begin, Log into Digi Remote Manager with your administrator account and navigate to the SAML single sign on tab of the account details page. Here, you can find the Digi Remote Manager single sign on URL and the Digi Remote Manager service provider entity ID that are specific to the account. You will need to provide this information to your identity provider so it can communicate with Digi Remote Manager. Next, in a separate tab, Log into your identity provider and navigate to the SAML settings interface. In Okta, the SAML settings can be found under the general tab of an application configuration. Here is where we will input the Digi Remote Manager single sign-on URL and the service provider entity ID. Next, you will need to locate your identity provider metadata. You will need to provide this metadata to Digi Remote Manager so it knows how to communicate with your identity provider. In Okta, the identity provider metadata can be found under the Sign On tab of an application configuration. Copy and paste the single sign on URL, the identity provider entity ID, and the X509 certificate into the corresponding fields in the SAML single sign on tab in Digi Remote Manager. Then click Apply. Your account has now been configured for SAML authentication. Next, you will need to configure the Digi Remote Manager users you want to authenticate using SAML. To do this, navigate to the Users page in Digi Remote Manager and select a user. Then, change the authentication field from Local to Single Sign-On and click Apply. The user is now configured to authenticate using your SAML identity provider. Note, the username in Digi Remote Manager must match the username provided by the SAML identity provider. That's it. Your Digi Remote Manager account and user are now configured to use SAML single sign-on authentication. Check back for more videos on how to use Digi Remote Manager. Thanks for watching.